morning guys this is Danny back from Deep South Homestead guys we got some severe heavy weather moving in here and then after that it's gonna turn so cold talking about snow in the Deep South for Christmas can you imagine that I don't think I've ever seen that in my life I've seen pretty close to Christmas but not Christmas anyway today guys we're out here we have our onions planted back here and I'm fixing to fertilize them now contrary to what you may believe I'm gonna be using miracle Grow to do this with i use two tablespoons per container here uh it's just a liquid nitrogen is all it is i know monsanto puts a company i know i know all that stuff so you don't have to tell me uh i don't care i'm growing onions and onions need nitrogen and water well in about 24 hours from now they're gonna have all the water they want right now i'm just gonna try to get the nitrogen into the soil so when the water comes They'll, it'll be readily available for it to feed on. So what we're going to do is just walk down the row and we're just going to pour it down the top of the row. Now as with any other fertilizer, I stop and liquid fertilizer, I slosh it around. These here are some of those left in the uh, high tunnel in the pots. These are some Savannah Sweets. I tried to plant them in stages. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work out with this severe cold coming, but these are kind of little and they're kind of tiny. And right beside them here, these are some that a friend of ours gave us that they had left over from Dixondales. We got three different varieties here. So we're hoping that through the cold, we don't lose them. Now these are the Savannah Sweets I took out of the barrel in the high tunnel probably a month ago. They're just now getting a little bit of a root hold, so hopefully they're, uh, they're going to make it. All right, guys, we come out here to look at our garlic bed, and we realize that where the water comes down through here, two of them, is now exposed. So we're going to end up going and getting some dirt. Coming back in here, covering them back up, because with that freeze coming, it'll freeze that bulb and kill it. So... Another project added to the list, covering up the bulbs. Make sure you check your bulbs before any of this cold comes in. Now, we're probably going to, if I get time after this rainstorm comes in here, we're going to come in here and put hay over the top of all this just to protect it from the really, really cold that's coming. All right, guys, we're back here in the high tunnel. we got a, a little bit of work to do here. This is our uh, not a... Uh, food your jalapeno it's a jalapeno that's not hot it's actually sweet and with all the really really cold weather coming in i'm gonna try to get some of these peppers off of here so we can get them put up because this makes the best cornbread i'm telling you you ain't had no cornbread you get good cornbread that's got the jalapeno taste and no heat that's what we're looking for and we got a good little crop of them coming on here we're probably going to end up having to do some covering up on this one because it's right at the door. And loving this. I hear a honeybee around us right here. There's quite a few on there. A good bit of them. And you can't go by size. I mean, because like that one. See, that one's just a little bitty one, but you're starting to see them little white lines on the sides of it. That means it's done reach full maturity. I mean, it's just, I'm trying to get some of these old leaves off too. And I'm just, I'm taking, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to take most of the peppers off of it that's even got any kind of size to it because... I don't want to lose anything to any kind of uh, cold weather. Some of them are larger than others. That's that's nice sized peppers right there now. 
Well, guys, while picking the peppers right here, uh, we happen to move one of the leaves back, and because we've been in the 80s now for several, oh, well, for a week or so, the aphids are starting to pop back out, and that's under the leaf of our pepper plant here. So we're going to have to really look right here if them aphids is up in this plant or not and see if we can't get some uh, some soap stuff in here and take care of it. Now, I see a leaf here that when you see that, that old black sooty look on that leaf like that, that comes from aphids. That's like a honeydew stuff. It just drops all around it there. So we're going to have to do a little looking around here. Not a bad harvest on the food your jalapenos. There's enough there to make a lot of pone of cornbread there now. All right, guys, these plants are like going on a third, they are three years old. We're fixing to take them out. We hadn't really been taking that good a care of them because we know he's going to take them out. And we got so many peppers. We're just going to kind of harvest what we, you know, what we got on them off. And then we're just going to take the plants out. Well, this is what we found when we started getting rid of our uh, pepper plant here. We got another one of these. Some people call them cut worms, but it's technically not a cut worm. It's an army worm. Uh, it's, there's different types of army worms, but this is one of them. Uh, we found him on the plant here, so we definitely going to be getting rid of him. And I'm pretty sure we might find another or two in here. Got a good root system, didn't it? Well, third year of being here. Look at that. And I just broke off this big one right here. Look at that. There's like a tree. And it probably would have lived another year. You see to my ginger back there too. I smell your ginger. I smell it. Time to see Gosh. what's under there. Two pepper plants gone. Alright. We actually found a ginger in here behind this. It's been here for a while, I believe. With all this coal coming. Look at the... It's trying to put on... Looks like... Oh, look at the ginger. We don't have a bunch of it, I can tell you. <laughs> we got a bee here. We that got just bees. Needs cutting off. That right just needs here. cutting off. All right. Yes. I, want, is it, I guess is it. We need another bucket. I'll get yeah. another one. Don't put them on your peppers. I don't want. I didn't want to. Uh, let's just see if we can't uh, cut them off there because we don't need that. That'll come back out. That'll, that'll be replanted. Ooh, Lord, let's see here now. I'm just... That's some pretty ginger, isn't it? Look at the roots coming out on it. It's time to replant, too. Yeah. Well, it's been so warm in this high tunnel. Tool. Uh, now, this one did something I hadn't... I haven't been seeing. Uh trying to put out flowers it made a it made a flower right here like that that one there's doing it yeah this one's doing it uh they don't usually do that here no but it was trying it was trying oh gosh they're all way back up in there <laughs> we got plenty of ginger don't we yeah look at that there's the old part right there but yeah Boy, they got a root system on them. It's trying to re-sprout. It smells so good. Lord, it smells good. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So the high tunnel did good growing ginger. Yeah. I still got it in mind to go get. I hadn't even harvested out of mine yet. Oh, that's a that's a nice harvest in this one spot. Yeah, I was trying not to dig up my strawberries, but can't help you it. You're gonna have to replant. That one's run over fixing to make a a baby, I guess. I don't know. I ain't never seen nothing quite like that. But all right, this is this all came out of that one spot. 
That's enough ginger for no telling what. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of ginger. All right, we're over here at our other uh, yellow Marconi. The uh, white flies, when this heat hit here the last couple of weeks, they have just devastated this plant. And we're gonna go through here because this is its third year. And be honest, it probably would keep going, but I'm fixing to go through here and take this whole plant out. We're going to get all the peppers off of it, and that way, hopefully, if white flies will stay stuck to it, we'll be easy with it, and we'll get uh, as many of them off of here as we can. And maybe the cold will kill the rest. And it, yeah, and the cold coming in here is going to get rid of the rest of them, I hope. Good Lord. Well, that baby had a root system on it, and I just watered them this morning. Healthy root system. Three years worth of growing right there. What we got here in the bell pepper, it's, they're still blooming. Look at that. Still got white blooms on them. Eh. We've got some peppers to get off. Some bells. I'm going to be cutting these back because we've got the cold weather coming and I'm going to need to be able to protect them. So I'm going to get some of this off of it. There's Ooh. a nice bell. These aren't shaped, they're almost pointed. Yeah, they're uh, a different type of bell. Well, some male, some female. But I mean, even like this one, you see all of them are going pointed. They're not the kind that have the lobes on I them. I don't know what variety this was, to be honest with you. I think it's male and female. Then turning, but it's small. It's small, but it's turning. It puts color into something anyway. Oh, that's heavy. Look at that. It's got some peppers under it. Two of them. Yeah. Ah. That's some nice bells. That's pretty ones there now. And we tend to have better peppers from, say, September, October on yeah. than we, we have do. during the summer. You know, I don't... Oh, should I save them or should I not save them? I mean, I don't know. No. Huh? No, we'll plant more. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to be replanting those other peppers. This was their first year. And best I remember, the bell peppers didn't keep that well. No, never have. They the never Marconis have. keep good. Yeah, the Marconis are great for, for, for keeping. But the bell peppers... See, the root system's not very big, which is yeah, the first year. It's the first year, but it's, it's okay. You know what I mean? One reason they're not no bigger is because, you know, in a high tunnel, you feed it intensely. So the roots don't really have to spread and look for anything. They were doing good. We've got a bucket over half full of peppers. And this is December, December the, the 13th. December 13th. A half a bucket. Wow. Half a bucket of peppers. 